What's up Raiders? This has to be the biggest announcement of the year. Alright, starting off, beginning tomorrow, we will have the return of the water event. Trainers, time to make a big splash. Even if you don't live near the water, you can look forward to water type Pokemon coming to you soon in eggs, raids, field research, and in the wild. The water event starts tomorrow at 4 a.m. and will end on August 31 at 4 a.m. It will feature water type Pokemon like Magikarp, Wooper, Wilmer, and more will appear more frequently in the wild. The following Pokemon will be appearing more frequently in the wild around water. War Turtle, Poliwhirl, Seeking, Lapras, Quillfish, Mantine, Lotad, Phoebus, Piplup, Weasel, and Finneon. Water type Pokemon will hatch more often in eggs. Kingler and Crawdunt will be available to learn Crab Hammer, a water type charge attack that is newly available in Pokemon Go. If you manage to surf the ways of luck, you might encounter Shiny Carvana and Shiny Barboach. Water type Pokemon like Blastoise, Vaporeon, Lapras, and more will appear in raids. On Wednesday, August 28, 2019 from 6pm to 7pm local time, you will be able to encounter Oxy, Mesprit, or Azelf in 5 star raids in their respective regions. So there won't be any uh, legendary regional rotation. Bonuses include 2 times hatch candy, and if you have a water type Pokemon as your buddy, the distance to earn buddy will be half. So, for example, if you have Magikarp, it will only take around 500 meters for it to get some candy. And now, the biggest news, because we have a lot the special research from the three different GoFests from Chicago, Dortmund, and Yokohama, we have now unlocked the Ultra Bonus. Congratulations with all your hard work and successfully completing all three parts of the global challenge, you've unlocked the Ultra Bonus. We're excited to finally reveal the details of what's in store for you during the three weeks of this event. Three weeks, okay? So week one, Johto Journey. Trainers can enjoy a chance to work on their Johto Pokedex while exploring and raiding. Put on your walking shoes as Pokemon never before seen in eggs in Pokemon Go will be hatching during this time. The Johto Journey event starts on September 3 at 4 a.m. up to September 10 at 4 a.m. If you're extraordinarily lucky, you might catch unknown forms U, L, T, R, and A from 10 km eggs. Raikou, Entei, and Suicune will return to raids along with other Johto Pokemon. And if you're lucky, you might encounter Shiny Sentret and Shiny Gligar. Bonuses include 2 times Incubator Effectiveness. That's not all. Week 2. Week 2 is the global challenge, Global Hatches. Pokemon from across the globe will join the celebration this week along with a special appearance by a mythical Pokemon that will be available to challenge in raids. The Global Challenge event starts September 10 at 4 a.m. up to September 17 at 4 a.m. It will feature regional Pokemon, Farfetch, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, and Taros will hatch from 7 km eggs and if you're lucky, you might get shiny ones. Okay. So these Pokemon will remain available from eggs until the end of week 3, September 24 at 4 a.m. That's not all. Deoxys. All Deoxys forms will make their first appearance outside EX raids. 
So if you didn't have the opportunity to raid in EX Raid Gyms, this is your chance to get all forms of Deoxys. And if you need a good team to take down Deoxys, other Pokemon appearing in raids will help you build a good team to challenge Deoxys, the DNA Pokemon. The bonuses will include 2 times incubator effectiveness. And week 3 will be the biggest one of them all. Week 3, a Unova and Veiling. All of your research has paid off. Professor Willow has informed us that some Pokemon originally discovered in the Unova region are now appearing in the world of Pokemon Go. Event starts on September 17 at 4 a.m. and will end on September 24 at 4 a.m. It will feature, get this, Mewtwo with a special move, Psy Strike, will be available to challenge in 5 star raids. But that's not all. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Mewtwo! Need a good team to take on Mewtwo? Other Pokemon appearing in raids will help you build a good team to challenge the genetic Pokemon. The gear Pokemon, Clink, originally discovered in Unova, will also appear in raids. You might even encounter a shiny Clink. So this would be one of the first times that uh, a first release of a Pokemon will also have a shiny potential. You may also find shiny Kratat and shiny Lillipop. Bonuses include 2 times incubator effectiveness. So with all those bonuses, with the 2 times incubator effectiveness, Adventure Sync will be a great help to you. Check out my Adventure Sync tutorial in the description below. And lastly, Jirachi has awoken. We're excited to announce that Jirachi is now available for all trainers via special research. For those who have already completed the exclusive Pokemon Go Fest, special research, and have caught the Wish Pokemon, completing this new special research will earn you candy to power up your Jirachi. On behalf of Professor Willow and the team leaders, thank you for tackling the global challenge with such electrifying, cool-headed, and fiery passion. Even if we have our team allegiances, we'll always be bonded by our shared love of Pokemon. When we work together, anything is possible. Alright, but that's not all. In the latest announcement, Pokemon Go has announced October 12th from 11am to 2pm local time. November 16th from 11am to 2pm local time. And on December 14th and 15th from 11am to 2pm local time on both days. So they have reverted back to the 11am to 2pm scheduled times for the community days. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Personally, I thought that the 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. was the best time slot for a community day. So that was the biggest announcement of the year. Who knows, Pokemon Go might surprise us again within the year or the next one. Alright, so till next time, don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and happy raiding!